So, uh, well, a warm welcome to you, uh, to Govani Gwadlan. We are uh, looking at the uh, contribution of the Church in Wales to the development of the uh, Welsh language and culture. We have a look back right to 1620 and uh, the revised version of uh, the William Morgan Bible. And we've reached the 19th century by now. I'd like to talk about a couple of practical uh, issues. You can uh, uh, ask questions later on by raising your hand on the screen or write your question in the chat. Uh, either way, it's okay. We'll be recording this session and it will be on the uh, Church in Wales website. There'll be an opportunity at the end of the session, about half past eight, to stay for um, uh, chat uh, uh, to uh, ask uh, questions uh, of the uh, two speakers <laughs> informally and uh, ask things you might have been too nervous to ask uh, uh, earlier on. So, so we now go on to uh, 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 the first speaker, Dr. Meg Ellis uh, speaks in uh, Wine Mawr in Arvan and she's well known as a writer of uh, novels and uh, 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 Mr. Edward adjudicator and uh, she was an adjudicator in Trigaron, Mr. Edward and um, she uh, uh, I came across a review of uh, a, a, a book uh, by uh, Sean Allard and uh, that was very uh, 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 positive because Sean is translating for us tonight. She is a member of the church in New Wales and uh, the title of her uh, 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 presentation today is The Contribution of Thomas Richard Dano and his sons to the life of the church. He always uh, lent me uh, a rahail and uh, that uh, was what by and those by uh, about uh, Thomas Richards, the uh, parson of Darwin in uh, the early 18th century. And uh, it was a hail that was being lent to him, the um, church uh, um, uh, 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 publication. I'll be... Uh, uh, the, the, so the next hour will be my mother's magnum opus on the uh, 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 great that great uh, group of uh, uh, people of uh, clerics in the nineteenth century who were known as the literary clerics in Welsh, and uh, looking at a particular uh, family who are famous in that way, Thomas Richards, Richard, David, Lewis, Lynn, Thomas, John Floyd and Lewis. And uh, this is not my work you'll hear tonight, but my mother's work. I was uh, lent that uh, 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 information as well. Thomas Richards didn't come from Darwin. He was born in... Uh, and he was uh, uh, taught at a St. Mary and uh, he was in other parishes for uh, most of his life. And uh, uh, the children had been born by the time he became uh, vicar of Darwin. But uh, uh, Darwin is connected uh, to the family because of their work in... Um, uh, collecting manuscripts, uh, etc., and uh, maintaining the Welshness of the uh, 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 Church in Wales. And uh, after uh, 
a cure seen sending out the way he came to Darawan. And there's a description of him arriving in Darawan. David, uh, said John, right. and uh, this uh, uh, young man came to them uh, and uh, uh, welcomed them and welcomed to the uh, uh, the uh, uh, new incumbent of Dunawen and uh, this uh, raised his, so his cap in the hair and all the children were asking about uh, how uh, things had been and uh, and uh, David was running up and down uh, uh, via the wagon. Uh, and uh, Mary understand, understood that the house was in a great place and uh, there were two goats there in with this, all, the, all, all the noise. The baby woke again. At the turn, of the century in 1800 they came to Darwin but since his ordain, uh, ordaining in 1774 he had served in Eglisbach and Llangenwellyn in Ceredigion his uh, interest was great in the literature of his country and its folk songs he was called a Methodist uh, um, uh, a person and uh, he was a great evangelist in North Carolina at the start of his uh, career. And he was interested in um, uh, 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 in uh, archives and in uh, manuscripts. And he, be- he believed very strongly uh, in education. And he really um, uh, sacrificed to give... Um, uh, a, a good education to his fa- five sons and three daughters. So we need to remember the dates, 1754 to 1837. Not only was he uh, 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 living at the same time as uh, Daniel Roller, the one in front of Kellyn, he'd heard them preach and he knew them. One of his peers, uh, in Stadmeyri was Thomas Jones, who was uh, a curate in uh, Hereford, and then San Gavellin in Eglisbach. Well, he saw, well, he saw his uh, parishioners as incredibly um, um, uh, 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 ungodly, and uh, he wanted to stop his uh, the, the, their dancing on Sunday and their cockfighting. And the two became friends. Uh, Thomas Jones and Thomas Richards' uh, letters to each other not only uh, shed interesting light on their relationship, but also of the um, uh, 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 the situation of uh, rural priests in Wales at the time. And uh, some pe- people wa- want to paint uh, two black and white uh, a picture of religion after the uh, uh, before and after the uh, Methodist uh, revival, to look at uh, the work of uh, 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 Tom, uh, Tom, uh, Thomas Richards, there were uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, persons who didn't take their work seriously, but there were godly persons as well, and and. Uh, uh, we can see from his diaries, and uh, uh, and uh, we look on the, uh, his diary entry for 1782 uh, on Christmas Day. He went to Langevelin at one in the morning uh, to uh, 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 the plugin service, and he preached at uh, three o'clock, at four o'clock, and then at six o'clock he was at uh, He uh, actually preached in the communion at another church and then by uh, 12 o'clock he was preaching at Clangabellin again. He uh, uh, kept 
to the uh, 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 early morning plugging surface uh, all his life. And um, uh, 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 Sean Davis will talk more about the uh, plug and carols um, uh, later on. So he, um, that was his diary. I talked about his uh, letters, those that have survived. They, uh, so Thomas Jones uh, uh, tried to help uh, Thomas Richards with his large family uh, financially, but there are some insensitive elements in the letters. There's one written in July 2022, which lot full of complaints that he hadn't heard from him from his friend from since May. Uh, you, you couldn't take much time to write a letter, but since Thomas Richards was a schoolmaster and uh, 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 running uh, churches and uh, um, travelling a lot day and night, the um, uh, the accusation by Thomas Jones that he was lazy doesn't ring true, really. It's uh, uh, difficult to um, uh, follow the um, Thomas Richards' career till he was uh, appointed curate of Llanum in 1784. He says... Ever since he moved to the Medway, uh, Thomas Jones felt uh, uh, Thomas, felt Thomas Richards because uh, he um, uh, uh, had such a low income, and uh, Thomas Jones was one of the established of the Society of Relief of Pious Clergymen. In 1788, uh, uh, there was, uh, help was given to Thomas Richard from this uh, fund, and Thomas Jones uh, was uh, uh, pushed uh, uh, richer um, uh, 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 richer priest to help people who had uh, better con- uh, uh, from people who had better connections with the uh, bishops, etc. And uh, uh, Thomas Jones um, uh, advised Thomas Richards how to come out of his uh, problems. Uh, and in 1797, he said, Thomas Richards uh, felt that he should everything he could to give uh, the best possible education to his sons. Uh, despite uh, the um, sacrifice that meant. Ten years later, the three uh, uh, oldest sons of uh, Thomas Richards have been ordained, and uh, Thomas Jones wrote in 1809, It must be highly gratifying to a parent's feeling to find his son such proficiency in literature after labouring under peculiar disadvantage to give them education. May they be found faithful to the vineyard of the Lord. In the end, uh, five, uh, the five St. Thomas Richards were ordained, and during his time in um, Darwin, he actually um, raised eight young men to be priests. And to call him a Methodist could have been seen as an insult, but that may have been uh, more of a reflection on his uh, detractors uh, that, uh, than on him knowing how, what Thomas Richards did in terms of work for the Gospel. In the early days of his uh, 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 priesthood, I declare now, if I was not already ordained, 
I would endeavor to be admitted into orders in our own established church before I would desire to be a minister in any other denomination, whatever. Now we come to uh, the sons of Thomas Richards. Uh, Richard, right to there was the younger son, that was the baby that uh, 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 who was crying when they reached the Rowan. One, Richard was the only one to write a kind of an autobiography, and he had uh, was known as a strong uh, evangelical preacher um, compared to John Elias, and uh, they both uh, preached for the Bible Society. For um, all, of all the children, Thomas Richard said his mother. This is uh, uh, one that we uh, uh, that uh, uh, who was uh, educated in Oxford University, and in 1824 he uh, 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 being a graduate and uh, became a curate in Dridden and St Asaph before becoming uh, rector of San Erbil. Uh, it's noted that uh, he could play uh, uh, the flute and the harp and he joined his brother Thomas, the, uh, the uh, <coughs> idea to uh, unite uh, the um, uh, 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 the diocese of uh, St. Athos and Bangor and Lewis was uh, very concerned against this, which was defeated in the end. Yeah. And then, uh, going, going uh, to uh, uh, all the children were different personalities, but they worked together. But uh, uh, but there was a big split in the family, not on a religious matter. The second uh, of uh, the oldest of the second generation was Richard Richards, uh, who um, uh, published in 1847 and 1848 his autobiography in the church magazine. And uh, he concentrated uh, on his uh, uh, spiritual journey, rather on the facts of his life. But uh, yeah, he has uh, great, uh, important descriptions of their way of life. Uh, uh, he also went to a St. Mary. Uh, uh, Richard became a coronet uh, uh, and uh, uh, there was quite a lot of traveling involved in his parishes. Richard moved to um, uh, Cairois in uh, 1824 and became a rector in 1826, and he was known as Richard Cairois. As one of the second generation, he came to know the disciples of Daniel Rowland. What's important in this? Uh, autobiography. He says that not one of them uh, uh, would take baptism or uh, uh, communion ra uh, other than the priest of the church. But now, but later, they uh, uh, rejected the church, uh, and we can see. Uh, this split happening within one generation and the Richards family saw this happening. We can see Richard Richards as a kind of a chain between the uh, literary uh, priests and the Methodists. And Richard Richards was uh, uh, very interested in Esther uh, and uh, uh, of course, there was a strong uh, uh, tradition of Istabotai in Cairois, 
And Richard was one of the establishments, establishers of the uh, Welsh uh, the church um, magazine, Aguilete. Uh, and uh, our teaching kids said that that was the best uh, the magazine in Wales at the time. A lot of the uh, evidence suggests that many of the articles are Richard Richard's work. And we know how uh, uh, strongly he worked for the uh, uh, periodical. And also Thomas Richard, that's uh, the rector of Llangenew. He was one of the founders of the Gwiliedi, and he was very in, uh, interested in Eistedd Vodda as well, and became secretary of the powers Eistedd Vodda in 1821. Looking at um, the uh, uh, correspondence between uh, the um, uh, uh, Eistedd Vodda uh, 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 supporters. It was uh, uh, just hard work as uh, uh, now and uh, uh, including uh, telling Eben Vau that he had won the chair on uh, Varys Oud Dinister Jerusalem and uh, also had to um, uh, 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 arrange the publication of all the works Thomas Richards' uh, father had uh, uh, been offered the parish, but uh, his, uh, he suggested his son should uh, uh, be uh, the vicar there. And Tom could be quite uh, funny in his uh, letters. I can't come there now. We have, uh, uh, we have the... Uh, <laughs> but uh, there were uh, uh, family difficulties in Tom's mind. We had the impression that he, of uh, uh, all the um, the sons who took on the uh, 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 problems of family, and. Uh, 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 one of the problems was uh, David uh, Dewey Sillin, the second son of the senior Thomas Richards. He was uh, an adjudicator and president of the States Water. Uh, he um, was a great musician and uh, collected um, uh, 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 manuscripts. And, uh, uh, and he liked hunting hares and... Uh, um, could play the harp himself. It's most uh, colourful of the brothers and the one who died first. He was ordained in 1809 and uh, licensed to Pembre in Carmarthenshire and then he went to Newton and then became curate of Nantglyn and then became the curate of Llansillin in 1816 all the time he had to do with all kinds of uh, l uh, cultural um, uh, uh, work, including establishing a branch of the Gwynedigion in Antlin. Uh, so the uh, pers one of the um, uh, uh, adjudicators in the, the 1819, Estelle Vod, died. Um, and uh, David Yon now um, refused to uh, take over. And Ivor Kerry gave the work to Wei Silin, and uh, he was appoint admitted to the Corsa of Bards at the end of the command on his dead bod. And uh, Dewey Silin uh, um, uh, agreed to be the secretary of Wrexham Powys his dead in 1820. But uh, it was said that he would require simulating in the work. If uh, David Sillin was a bit um, uh, astray with the details uh, of this, tell the word, 
um, he didn't uh, need stimulating in other ways. And Harad Lloyd said in 1821 to Eva Kerry, According to the um, uh, uh, the the way that at that time, uh, it could have uh, just been that he drank a bit too much in his dead body, and uh, maybe flirting with uh, the uh, barmaids, but. But, but uh, Tom came to uh, tell him off, um, his, uh, his brother came to tell him off in Darwin. I wanted to know uh, that uh, were these rumours true, the rumours about you. Um, I know that you uh, waste your time with these um, um, silly bads. Well, yeah. And uh, well, I'm saying that uh, he really did his best all this time. Uh, he couldn't bring uh, uh, false people could come to the church. He said, "Well, but there are." Uh, but Thomas said, um, the, "It was more serious. How much time do you?" Uh, spent in the pub. That's, uh, you weren't there. Uh, well, then, well, was, was uh, uh, his love in the pub, and uh, they married in uh, Shrewsbury in 1823. Uh, and uh, the uh, poets um, uh, were uh, very happy about that, but the Darwin family weren't happy. They said, I, I talked about the late, uh, I talked to you, and, and Mary Richards says, uh, about, uh, uh, said about her new sister-in-law uh, <laughs> that she dressed like a peacock. So, she was thought of uh, as marrying above her station. Uh, apart from those um, uh, comments, Ellen is never mentioned much, but uh, they are two children, Ellen and Thomas. It's difficult to say whether it's the, the uh, coming of the children or the... Um, uh, illness of Dewey Sillin uh, that uh, brought the family together. Uh, but, uh, you know, even then, there's no mention in the letters about his wife. And he died uh, that year. Bro his, uh, uh, the, uh, John Lloyd Richards, the fifth child, uh, uh, is uh, in danger of uh, being put in the shadow of uh, the other brothers. Although, but uh, uh, we really don't know enough about him. But uh, we know that uh, he was a harpist and uh, he uh, uh, followed the Esther Vodai. But uh, didn't actually um, actually contribute to the Guilette at all. He wasn't a kind of country pumpkin. He was a reader of books all his life. The, and we uh, we, uh, we have uh, just accounts for about five years and one diary, noting. Uh, it's uh, 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 one Christmas, so it's a good plug guy and a lot of uh, drinking at night. These were the kinds of things. 
that, that uh, um, uh, uh, actually led to stopping the plug and service, uh, and he uh, died in 1854 after uh, years of illness. By the end, the all the uh, 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 village uh, by the end of the century was uh, under the thin even Vernway reservoir. But uh, oh, I can I can see see the work of a rural uh, a priest who wasn't uh, uh, seeking um, uh, uh, anything more. But uh, uh, we really need to know this uh, amazing uh, family and they need uh, to uh, uh, have the Hail, not the, uh, 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 the magazine, but the real sun shining on them for their contribution. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mag for that uh, presentation, uh, an exciting presentation uh, would uh, uh, give us a short um, uh, 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 picture of this uh, uh, family. Anybody want to ask a question in the chat or uh, live? So I'll ask one if I can. You have mentioned individuals who has uh, immersed in the life of the church and uh, the language and culture of Wales. And um, you have uh, talked about the five sons uh, who are uh, uh, priests. But now, of course, uh, there's a, a real shortage of uh, Welsh language uh, candidates for the priesthood. So it's a lesson to learn from the, the uh, uh, time of Thomas Richards and his sons. Well, it's difficult. It's difficult to compare to such different uh, periods. But what I saw in the work, uh, my, my mother's work on the... Uh, literary priest see she's been uh, she's written on um uh yeah england can you on the river kerry can now hanog uh, it's, it's the energy they had i'm not saying the presentation is a uh, lacks energy but they felt a, a duty that's the way the the, the path that we put on and they felt that it's that way that they would um, uh, they would uh, carry out their duty, and they touch on the fact that uh, not all the uh, 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 priests in Wales, even the well-speaking ones, felt the same. But these uh, cultured pre cultural priests. The, they were um, uh, priests, but also they loved literature. No, they weren't two different things. They felt that they could serve the church and the Lord best through the Welsh language. And they felt because of uh, uh, that uh, heritage, that the literary tradition was something worth keeping as well. That's the only explanation I can give. Thank you very much. And you also mentioned during the uh, 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 your presentation that there had been a great change in this period in uh, of uh, the uh, 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 the nonconformist uh, firstly accepting the uh, sacraments of a church and then uh, moving to being distant from the church and there was no desire uh, um, among 
the early reformers to break away from the church. They wanted to uh, improve and uh, revive the church, uh, I would think, was their intention. I'm not a, a professional uh, history in that period. But, of course, um, the, uh, 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 the break uh, became bigger. But we see this family as witnesses in that time and place to that divide happening. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a sore throat. Oh, it uh, gets better. And uh, I think you're right that the intention of the reformers was to stay within the church and uh, and some uh, yeah 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 and uh, the, yeah the same uh, way to have been true during the reformation period and to stay as one church was the intention but, uh, that's that's a question and uh, 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 and uh, how do we address the split between the uh, church in Wales and the uh, non-conformists now? Uh, how, how, and uh, how we can, as a church in Wales, be more ecumenical uh, in a way that we haven't here too? And Fridian has a question. The, do the diaries let us talk about um, baptizing the instruments in the church? I can't remember uh, 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 enough about this because there's so much uh, work by my mother uh, about all this. But there is a mention, and then. And not just using the uh, instruments in the church, but uh, it does talk so much. But, but uh, they're in the account books uh, about uh, paying for a harp, etc. So, uh, so it's not uh, baptizing the instruments, but uh, using them in the church. Well, thank you very much. Sitian will be glad to hear that. Welcome back to all. Uh, the uh, speaker now is the uh, Professor Shona James, was a Professor Emerita Train in Catherine University, has been uh, the uh, head of the School of Welsh and uh, is uh, uh, um, an expert on the Mabinoki. Uh, the, the, uh, and he is uh, 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 translated uh, the Mabinoki. Uh, 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 actually, uh, 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 um, showing us the power of the story teller, and she's working on the translation of Prayed on Nabwe, and she's all interested in the 19th century, expressly the dramatic preaching and uh, the confusion of women to uh, the literary world. And she's going to talk tonight about two women who were very influential at that time. The title of his, uh, his uh, her uh, 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 talk is uh, two influential women, uh, my Richard Thoreau and Dangarat Lloyd. Well, can you see that now? Yeah. Well, I'm going to 
I'll talk about uh, contributions, about uh, two women's contribution to lit literature and culture of Wales. But uh, without uh, Maria Liss, the mother of Mac, who's now uh, just uh, presented, I'd like to um, uh, express my debt to her. And uh, she has produced a lot of material my Chesnanger at Lloyd. And I was uh, uh, supported very much by her when I uh, was wanting to write about them a long time ago now. And uh, I'm afraid of the uh, uh, questions at the end. Uh, I'm a, a, a congregationalist to start with. But who were these two? Well, it's happening now. Not sure what's happened now. So we'll uh, do it this way then. Well, Langhara Lloyd, seventeen eighty eight in sixty six. She was born in Cairwis in seventeen eighty uh, to Martha Williams and John Lloyd. And uh, we know very little about the mother, but we know that John Lloyd was the um, son of Carey Lewis, uh, originally from Llanarmon and Yale, and he graduated in uh, uh, Oxford. And he knew a lot of the um, uh, William Pugh, uh, Thomas Pennant, uh, great um, uh, 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 scholars of his day. And uh, his contact uh, with um, the scholars and with uh, um, uh, 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 the rich people at the time uh, uh, was important. The, the uh, three, his three sons uh, was university educated uh, and, um, and uh, the, uh, but the uh, daughters had a different story. And uh, they were uh, the, the women were uh, very often responsible for looking after the uh, family, but the norm was to be uh, uh, a mother and a wife. Uh, even though Anne Harriet Lloyd uh, was single all her life, she. Uh, 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 avoided being just a carer, and uh, that, that he fo she followed in his father's footsteps. Uh, that uh, she uh, read uh, his manuscripts and uh, his experiences as a, a archivist. But he died when she was only thirteen. But uh, he must have had an influence on him. And um, she inherited all of his uh, manuscripts and added to them herself. What about my Richards? Uh, 1787, 1877. A little bit younger than Gerard Lloyd. Who was she? Well, uh, she was daughter of Jane and Thomas Richards of uh, Darrowen and his uh, wife Jane. They had five sons and three daughters. The um, uh, 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 father and the sons uh, were those literary priests um, who um, uh, collected books and uh, manuscripts. The five um, sons uh, were uh, 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 priests in the church and uh, Elizabeth and Jane uh, uh, were um, uh, uh, housekeepers of their uh, to the sons, but uh, Meyer was uh, uh, educated uh, and she would uh, play the flute, for example, in um, uh, the church. And uh, the, uh, the plug-in uh, services were imported for her, and she was up all night uh, before Christmas 
day uh, all our life. Well, on, well, there was a, an interesting uh, uh, relationship between the uh, daughters and uh, the sons, and uh, uh, they um, uh, looked after their the sons, and then Maya looked after her parents, and uh, and. Uh, and Meyer, uh, Meyer eventually uh, moved to uh, her brother uh, in Mayfield and then uh, to the brother Lewis and, uh, and uh, the three uh, uh, daughters then lived together in Brintana Tlan Gebrir. So, Meyer uh, actually had her first proper home at 73 years old. So there, there were, um, uh, so Angharad and uh, Meyer were both uh, daughters of a uh, uh, churchman and, and uh, you know, in families where the uh, uh, brothers who are educated were not the daughters properly and uh, both um, collected um, uh, 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 um, manuscripts uh, so they they lived through the um, French Revolution through the Crimea uh, War and uh, the uh, American Civil War but uh, they and they both um, had a con great contribution to our literature. Well, what was their contribution? And her to start with, as I spoke earlier, she collected and copied um, manuscripts uh, dating to her father's colle collection. There's her uh, many um, uh, pages of uh, family trees and one includes four, 500 um, uh, colour uh, pictures of um, uh, 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 family arms and uh, she, uh, 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 she inherited a lot of the um, gentry um, uh, 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 manuscripts and she was a bit eccentric and she wanted to um, uh, preserve these manuscripts for the future uh, collecting and copying uh, 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 manuscripts and translating them was a uh, uh, common uh, 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 thing at the time but uh, she didn't just do that she competed in a state of what I uh, across the country well, uh, 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 so um, the old um, literary priests uh, uh, were involved in supporting and uh, 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 setting up a state of what I in uh, the Welsh pool a state of what in 1824 she was um, uh, uh, she, uh, she got the prize for them um, uh, a collection of uh, uh, manuscripts and uh, she um, uh, published uh, a history of great dear family but her main uh, 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 published work was the history of the island of Mona which was uh, 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 got the prize in 1832 in Bomaris and uh, it's quite a radical publication actually uh, uh, which uh, corrected some of the English uh, interpretations of the history of uh, uh, Anglesey uh, so she has a description of the island, minerals and fossils, harpers and druids. 
and uh, talked about uh, specific places like Romares, like Lanvais and Baudet, um, and uh, right. one uh, thing that influenced uh, greatly was the archaeological um, uh, uh, discovery in 1813 of an urn. Uh, including the um, remains, as people thought, uh, of Branwen. Uh, um, well, I wish that was true, but uh, John Nguyen was her um, uh, long diploma in the competition. What a, what a connection between uh, and uh, supporting the uh, world's language um, and then her had uh, raised money from the gentry. That's what they said for day here. Yeah. And um, everything she did was placed on the uh, uh, the language and its survival. She protested um, when the language uh, wasn't respected. I'll give you an example. In June 1821, she was um, elected to the Camaradorian Society of London and this was offered to her in English uh, and and she replied uh, to uh, 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 and she replied uh, to the the offer so uh, 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 complaining that uh, she was uh, uh, offered this honour in English uh, and uh, s uh, saying that uh, uh, that uh, the, the people of the Cymru Gorion uh, 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 were supporting the Welsh language but uh, writing in English but uh, she often writes in a mixture of Welsh and English she was uh, happier to speak Welsh than to write it. She was a great uh, a steadfast supporter and she was a very unusual person. In and uh, she was uh, used to men's company mostly but then she uh, found a circle of uh, women in uh, uh, Abergavenny, she became a good friend with Gus Hall or San Over. And uh, an album uh, 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 includes a picture of uh, Angharad by Augusta Hall. And uh, she was um, uh, interviewed to Charlotte Guest. And uh, 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 Lady uh, Greenley and Maria Jane Williams have a I'd love to hear what their uh, chats would be. The, and uh, she obviously enjoyed the the company of these women. It's uh, totally different to um, her uh, life in Kerwis. Uh, I had a doesn't say much about her personal feeling. There's a clear suggestion that uh, she wasn't uh, happy to be dependent. After uh, Victoria uh, 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 came to the throne in 1837, and, then, and uh, she says, I stood in need of it. I am now constantly urged by very many friends 
to apply for some situation in the royal establishment. What is your job? Uh, uh, <laughs> she wanted a job. That may enable me to live independent of my kind brother, Llewellyn. So, there's a desire there to be independent. And she was uh, advised to uh, send that uh, to the uh, uh, keeper of the uh, uh, um, of a chief purse. But uh, she did have a lot of independence. She was a strong and disciplined uh, uh, character. She um, chose not to write about feminine matters. Uh, she um, actually went into the ch uh, the men's sphere and showed herself to be better than the man winning. In uh, he said what I and I really said that she had uh, difficulties as a woman for trespassing in uh, men's life. But uh, she um, also um, owned that uh, field. Uh, the, um, the men respect her. They asked her opinion. She crossed the frontier in, to some extent anyway. Well, my Richards also uh, uh, came from the shadows, and uh, we have a, a, a picture of Harold Lloyd and uh, this one of my Richards. And Maria Ellis uh, showed me this first, and I uh, felt a real uh, 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 thrill from seeing that. So rather than saying within the normal uh, uh, boundary for women. She came out and uh, contributed to the uh, literary, musical, and cultural fields. And uh, she was especially uh, uh, concerned about copying um, uh, material. She copied uh, uh, letters, a black guy, carols. Um, uh, uh, tunes, anthems, psalms, uh, uh, well as poetry by Tudor Aled, Pentlin, uh, and uh, others. And uh, she um, uh, also um, uh, had copied some uh, poems by women. And you see, that a book there has been produced nineteen sixty one by Robin Hill Bowen and uh, 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 by her uh, of her um, uh, tunes. Uh, some I wonder if uh, uh, the her brothers didn't think these tunes were worth recording, but we have a great debt to her. So. We can see that Maya Richards, uh, differently to Angela Lloyd, didn't want to uh, use her own voice. Angela um, Lloyd wrote um, um, uh, uh, articles, etc. But Maya Richards uh, hid uh, behind other uh, 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 people's ideas, men mostly. So she was a bit like Charlotte Glass. Like uh, so, that translation and copying um, gave women uh, the opportunity to um, be involved in literature without uh, challenging men. So, Angharad Lloyd has a, 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 an index to the manuscripts that she owned, but not my Richards. She used uh, the um, uh, empty pages of the account books of his brothers uh, uh, to write over, and it was a nightmare to uh, read them. And everything that uh, she uh, wrote uh, is on things like this. 
uh, sometimes he uh, copies uh, poetry very tidily, but uh, often there's no real plan to her writing. She doesn't record chronologically, so it's difficult to date the manuscripts. So there, often there might be a, a personal comment at the end of the page about the weather is tested, and then uh, sometimes bits of paper are attached to these. So well, she uh, she um, often referred to herself in the third person, hoping that somebody else would take notice. But Maya Richards does find her own voice eventually. In 1818, when she was 31, she went to London for six months. Uh, her great adventure. In November 1818, she wrote to uh, her family in uh, Darwin. And uh, this, uh, uh, and she talked about uh, London in uh, a great um, uh, 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 in a way that gives us her own voice. <coughs> the letter. Uh, this, uh, this is a letter from London. Who would know? Right, it talks about uh, uh, going from Brixton to Charing Cross, and uh, one of the high points was uh, was from Therapy. and then she steals. She she just files things. Uh, sitting in the king's chair, and she uh, says, uh, talks about the um, uh, embroidery around her. We know that uh, she loved uh, embroidery, uh, including uh, two uh, quilts that she uh, produced. There's great wonders in uh, the the uh, uh, Tower of London as well, and she wanted a souvenir for here. And, uh, and uh, she found, uh, she was trying to uh, get a bit of a, uh, 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 a material from there, but she was seen by the <coughs> guard there. And then, and, and then we could sit uh, and see the, uh, somebody uh, open the box where the, the state crown was there. Oh, that's a lot of pearls in it. The uh, uh, British Museum is there as well, and she went there several times. And uh, she went and she so sees marble from Carthage, and she took some of them because uh, his father had a museum in Darwin, and uh, the highlight was the room full of uh, so many uh, books. But there's a, uh, uh, <laughs> but uh, there was a glass door between her and the box, so uh, she would have taken some of those. And then, uh, and then she uh, she uh, uh, climbs the monument, uh, and she looks around the river, uh, but she didn't have a telescope. And she, but she carves her uh, uh, name on the monument, and then uh, she steals something from there. And then Guy's Hospital in uh, and sees a uh, run uh, barrels and uh, ground. So, 
she described things in detail and uh, in a very uh, a, a very lively way with ooh and well and we saw this so it's a kind of a, 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 a very uh, flowing uh, 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 prose there uh, con conveying her feelings well, I, uh, she uh, says, uh, uh, he says, let me ask me to tell me of the streets. I don't know many but respectable streets around here. I saw an old woman dressed up, her feet sticking out of her shoes and cords, yellow stocking, a racket, gold coat, an old red cape and an old kerchief on her neck. More like something steeped in snuff for a fortnight than anything else. And her head grey and grimy like old counterpane. And up at a basket full of old, old fist. Well, that's the story one. So, um, we're talking about uh, the... Uh, uh, the way that uh, the uh, women... Uh, were uh, 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 dressed in London. And they said that uh, London was like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, that's how it is here. The old lady she talks about there is uh, uh, full of um, uh, uh, description that uh, had a lot of alliteration and uh, to be read to his uh, uh, to her um, uh, 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 her family in Darwin and uh, well this is some creative uh, uh, writing that is worth our Talking about London, women, uh, dialects, etc. And then her personal voice comes later when she was in the 60s, living in Maybot with his, her brother Richard. So, um, so the, the difference between the uh, letter from London and uh, the work in Mavod um, is uh, obvious. Uh, Forty years had gone by, but so the um, st state of mind of the old lady uh, to, uh, talks us uh, talks to us about uh, uh, everything turning around the church and the house, but she's still copying and uh, uh, organising her papers. Uh, people from London uh, come to visit. And, but throughout the uh, diary, we can hear the time uh, passing by. And uh, he, she doesn't uh, uh, like the singing in uh, 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 in the church, no realization of rhythm, but and the language of the church uh, 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 pains her too many, too much English, uh, you know, and everything in English when there are sixty Welsh speakers and three English speakers, and. Uh, she feels strongly about uh, us giving up our country to the English. Uh, she um, misses the Estelle uh, Bordai and she sees the uh, golden age of the old uh, uh, preachers, uh, the old priests coming to an end. So she really longs for the olden days. And in the friend Banu, she, when she moved after her brother Richard died, she sees uh, things uh, more uh, 
well wish there but she sees thing going down in Christmas 1863. This was 1863. On Friday, the company will name his bride Beard Bachot all night. Very little singing. We went to church round five. Seven carols were sung with not the usual sims. The ring, ring the bell ring and sang 86 year old. There were three things crews player in the country. We went to thank at the end of the evening. Many people, they behaved that way, they talked loudly and didn't take things seriously in church. The English plague has darkened and deceived them, namely English chapels throughout our country. And, uh, and in the Whitson, 1862, see, uh, I said that uh, the service was uh, given in English just uh, because of six English people there. So um, uh, we need to learn from her uh, not, uh, not to raise her voices where needed. Well, we have had a look at the contribution of two uh, unique women by the 19th century. They were uh, uh, more than a million and uh, one uh, unmarried women um, uh, in England and people asking what shall we do with old maids and what are, why are women redundant and this was a threat to the uh, state of things and uh, they uh, they were often uh, uh, criticised and attacked, and especially uh, when uh, they became older and uh, they were seen as a burden in the family. But uh, one or two of these uh, single women come out of the shadows, and this is what Angharad Lloyd and my Richards did. They didn't keep within the normal boundaries for women, but they came into the sphere of uh, the men, well, within um, uh, uh, limits, of course. They couldn't become um, uh, uh, priests or go to university, but they could contribute culturally. So uh, the uh, powers of both uh, did uh, 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 across so when uh, Bishop of uh, Chester appointed somebody to the Thangamp Lake Church, um, uh, to uh, somebody who was uh, not uh, uh, well speaking, they both opposed that, but and he tried to learn Welsh. They uh, became both uh, members of the Commodorean Society of, of London, and they became uh, members of the Corso Bads. When Angharad died in 1866, Meyer uh, uh, was worried that uh, uh, that uh, uh, her collection might be lost and uh, wanted uh, 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 to establish a collection of them. Well, so, um, in the end, uh, this was an early uh, call for um, uh, 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 the uh, 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 well, National Museum in Wales. So, they were well ahead of their times. Women who uh, uh, were able to do so much, despite all the um, uh, prejudice against women, their debt to them um, is great. Thank you very much. So that uh, was great, and um, we've learned so much from that. At the beginning, when you were portraying the two, and had a thread with uh, an independent voice, and my Richards, who was uh, the collector. But as the uh, presentation went on, Meyer had uh, also had uh, uh, 
uh, things to say about the anglicization of things and uh, the loss of language and uh, uh, culture. So, great. Thank you very much. I think the question has come here by Professor Margaret Haycock. No, oh, she's just th saying thanks. I'm asking a question. Well, we are uh, uh, leaving their uh, uh, questions uh, until the um, more informal session at half past eight. So I want to thank both of you. And we're going now to Doc uh, well, Paris Faith from uh, the Lean Peninsula, who is going to uh, say thanks on behalf of all of us. Thank you very much, Ainsley. I'd uh, like to uh, say thanks on behalf of all of us uh, for the two uh, uh, wonderful um, uh, uh, presentation. I've learned so much, I'm sure uh, all of us feel the same. And we've been on a journey through parts of Wales and to uh, London as well. It's interesting to hear about these uh, women who are, who are uh, before their time and the problems they face. And uh, of course, uh, we face similar problems, uh, including the, uh, 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 the lack of Welsh used in the church these days. Uh, this is a great problem in uh, the Lee Peninsula. I'm not sure about other places in Wales. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, I speak at a member uh, of the uh, uh, representative body. We heard that need uh, uh, the sight of a relief of a clergyman because the clergy are paid properly. And next, we, uh, we next, uh, when uh, I see the sign to Darwin on April 70, I'll be thinking uh, about the museum in Darwin and uh, the uh, happy evening I had uh, 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 singing the plug in uh, Glissant City uh, many years ago. Uh, thanks to uh, Sean Ned and uh, Meg Inglis and uh, we think of the late Mary Ellis as well. Thank you to both of you and to Ainsley for leading us tonight.